When he's driving, Adrian Levski is focused on distance, but off the links, he's working on a drive that will land much further away. White balls, yellow balls, orange balls. You take all balls. I take all balls. His obsession started last Christmas when his coworker, Mike Martin, was transferred overseas and expressed frustration on the new job. Immediately, Levski thought golf was the answer and started begging friends to donate golf balls. No one ever said, that's a crazy idea. You know, the more times they said it was a crazy idea that motivated me that much more. Crazy, because in a sport associated with manicured lawns and green fairways, who would have ever thought these balls would score in one of the biggest sand traps in the world? An army base in the middle of the Afghan desert. This is Lieutenant Colonel Mike Martin with 4th LAR down in southern Helmand province, Afghanistan. Yes, his friend Mike Martin the, uh, is now in a war zone where golf has become the new pastime. Pressure's on, brother. Troops have even launched a tournament called the Helmand River Open. Yeah, I hooked it a little bit. In truth, it's Operation Downtime. Helps out significantly with the morale out here. It gives us something to do in the little downtime that we have. Take our mind off of uh, the more serious business at hand. With almost every swing, a ball is sacrificed. It's too risky to retrieve them from the hazard of a minefield. You give me a call in the office. So Levski is constantly uh, working the phones, busy supplying reinforcements. Right now, and when his garage ship, got too small, it must be a pretty good uh, market for secondhand range balls. Yeah. Levski called Callaway, the golf equipment company, which coincidentally was already in the game having donated golf gear over the last five years. Now they know exactly who's using it. He helped us direct the balls to the right place. There was actually a need. So far, more than 100,000 balls have been sent and lost. But at this course, no one's counting strokes. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Chicopee, Massachusetts.